The Democratic Republic of the Congo is the second largest country in Africa. However, there are only 2,250 kilometers, that is 1,398 miles, of sealed roads. Zambia, one of the poorest countries in southern Africa, has 580 kilometers, that is 360 miles, of paved roads per 1 million people. DR Congo has just 35 kilometers, that is 22 miles, of paved roads per 1 million people. That's a paradise for a dead biker and a hell for everyone else. We wanted to travel overland from Kinshasa, the capital, to Lubumbasi, the country's second largest city. This is a route that very few foreigners have tried and even fewer have completed with their own vehicle still functioning. The distance to be covered is around 2,500 kilometers, that is 1,553 miles, and it takes anything from two weeks for a motorbike to three months for a truck. We are on a multi-year trip around Africa uh, Until now it's almost one year on the road Actually next week we will have our first year anniversary on the road <laughs> well, I hope so, if we arrive to Lubumbasi. <laughs> this is the 20th country that we travel, but there are many more to come. Dalaya kwasa kwasa mo anzale We are traveling on uh, two old trustworthy Honda XR250. I am Ilias Brohibis from Greece and Christina. Christina what? <laughs> we are in Democratic Republic of Congo and we are traveling from Kinshasa to Lubumbasi. We are trying to travel. <laughs> we are not really traveling. No, it's going very well now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's going better than expected. Yeah, right. Actually, this is a legendary route that very few foreigners have tried. And this exact route that we are trying right now I haven't heard any foreigner traveling here. Of course, only the locals know the route. Yeah, actually some locals told us about this route because most people go through the main road, which is terrible, it's almost impossible, especially for cars. For bikes, it's okay, but for most people, it is considered hell. It is. <laughs> but here it's quite fine. Here it's okay. We travel on second gear or sometimes even when there is no sand we can go on fifth gear even. Which is rare. Sixty or seventh kilometers per hour. Amazing. <laughs> Here it's okay, there is not deep sand. But there is sand all over the place, are you kidding? <laughs> no, here actually you can go on second gear, it's, it's good. I prefer to go on the rail for the bike. Okay, I'll try the truck too. Oh yeah, here it's harder soil. Yeah, much better. But still there is sand all over, I hate sand. But I need to be careful because of the panniers. Oh, yeah. Because they will crash again on the side of the road. It's more dangerous for me here. Here we can open some throttle, right? Okay. You are on the 
hard part, why not? <laughs> you can try third gear. <laughs> yeah, this intercommunication system is so useful. For me, it is very good. Yeah, Christina calls me every once in a while. Hey, I fell, I crashed, come to pick me. Hey, it's not every once in a while, it's only 20 times. <laughs> we are so thankful to send a Bluetooth for sponsoring us all these intercommunication systems and the audio pack for actually recording even these conversations through our camera it's an amazing system, we love it <laughs> oh, we approach the village here bonjour we don't really speak French bonjour we speak Lingala. Bote, bote. Oh, here they have some uh, fried bananas. Shall we, shall we stop for eating? Yeah. Yeah, we can have a breakfast. Finally, we discovered that it was not fried plantain. It was fried sweet potato. Yum. Yeah. And it's really yummy. It's tasty. Yeah. They are yummy. <laughs> mm. These are the Honda XR250s that we travel on. This is mine. I carry most of the luggage. This is Christina's. They are the same bikes, but Christina's bike is lower and uh, she went for soft luggage. She carries less, so it's easier for her. And all these are the villagers who always come around us everywhere we stop. <laughs> That's the Sena Bluetooth intercommunication system that we use and we love it. It's really useful. Right? Really useful. I could live without the tent, but not without this. <laughs> of course, how would you call me when you crash? Sere la mata lo We arrived at Lumumbasi. Oh, they were okay, finally. Eh, they were not really okay, but they were better than expected. Yeah. Sand, stones, rats, everything. Sand in every possible color. Orange, but, pink, red, white, black. But after 13 days we are in the town. Yeah. Be careful, the city is more dangerous than the bush. <laughs> And they drive like crazy here.